Morning everyone, hope you're well. I'm feeling um, a lot better this week. As I said in the last uh, episode, it was tough. Last, last week was tough, mentally draining. Uh, this week started off well. Um, on Monday, uh, a woman walked into the office and um, had a little chat and she lives in Fulham. She's got a fantastic property. Um, not too far away from the office. It's probably three and a half thousand square feet. She's been there 10 years. Um, fully, fully done 10 years ago. Um, at a cost of, I think she paid 1.5 million for it, you know, 10 years ago. Uh, but she's having some uh, um, problems uh, with the basement. There's underfloor heating is leaking, so it's bubbling the polished plaster. And basically what she wants to do, she wants to have a complete strip out of the uh, basement. And uh, she wants us to come up with some fresh ideas, uh, you know, maybe moving walls, redesigning the staircase. Um, so this is brilliant. Um, and, you know, it's very wide. This basement must be 1,500 square feet. So it's huge. She said to us, um, you know, she's open to ideas. Um, the, basically at the back, where the garden is, she's got two separate light wells on either side and they've got hydraulic uh, ventilation so she can let air in but it's quite an old system and it's like sort of PVC uh, double glazing sort of window panels which ain't which is not really cool so I've said to her to, to maybe stick in maybe a huge single panes of glass on a motorized system like automatic which you can like lift them up or you know maybe move them to the side so you know this is going to be a brilliant job we're really excited about this one and um fingers crossed so we're going to go around her again today um with andrea um the architect and uh, because he needs to sort of draw up a sort of potential scope of works and some uh, di different ideas for the lady to sign off because uh, you know her her parents are architects um, in Spain so sh she knows exactly what she wants and um, um, I think the last builder she had when she moved in she had a bad experience and um, she wants everything signed off full scope of works so we all know what we're talking about no guesswork so uh, that's going to be taking place hopefully in the, over the next sort of couple of weeks uh, what else yeah so talking about scope of works we had a woman phone up yesterday um, and she lives in a ground floor flat in Fulham and she's just brought her first floor flat so she wants to turn it into one house great so I spoke to her She's got planning for it, but she wanted us to quote. And I said, you know, uh, have you got a scope of works? She says, no. The other builders are quoting just off what she's given them. That is floor plans. So, you know, I said, well, we're not into guesswork. We can't really come up with a, a quote based on nothing, on what we want to put in there. Um, and you know this is why when builders quote for the same job everyone's got their own different ideas you know you know if everyone's quoting off the same scope of works the same drawings the same everything you're gonna be playing the same you know playing field you know at the moment it's like okay let's guess what she wants to be put like what bathrooms what kitchens what flooring what tiles what lightings you can't do it so unfortunately she wasn't budging you know the other builders who um, are quoting for the project are more than happy to guess and put a price down and hope for the best but well, this is suicide you can't do this uh, and I told the lady but she's more than happy of just to go with these other builders so I did send her a nice email afterwards to say look 
if you have any problems, give me a call. We, you know, you can use our design team or we can put you in the right direction to, you know, to another architect who, you know, they can do the scope of works and that kind of thing. We can't have guesswork. You know, we've, had, you know, over the years, three, four, five years ago, we would be more than happy to guess uh, and come in low and hope for the best. And then guess what happens? It's variations. So as the build goes on, there's variations, there's changes, that's conflict with the owner, impossible. So we're not doing that no more. We're not doing that no more. Um, so that was that. Then yesterday afternoon, Bruce, my mate, uh, he's a member of the Hurlingham Club in Fulham, which is a, a, I don't know, I think it's like a 200 year old sort of manor house in the heart of Fulham, set in 100 acres unbelievable place so um, went over there because what they've got they've got their yearly tennis tournament and it's like a pre warm up for Wimbledon so yesterday uh, we had a glimpse of Sharapova which is um, it's going a bit dark here because I'm just going into my parking behind the office uh, we watched a bit of Sharapova and uh, also um, today is Nadal so uh, I don't know whether I can go over there today because that's going to be rammed over there and uh, I guarantee um, it's going to be tickets to get in today I'm just reversing into my parking spot um, so yeah that's uh, yesterday and I didn't leave there till six o'clock and then I had, a th I had a couple of pims, large pims. So I was, a, you know, I, I was in a good mood, and then um, uh, my mate Bobby, turn that off. Uh, Bobby Consel Verma, he runs a private family office fund in Mayfair, and this fund's worth, God, twenty billion or something. You know, he's got a mega, 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 mega important job. Uh, and he signs off on lots of investments. So uh, I spoke to Bobby and then he came over to the office around about 8 p.m. last night and then we went over to uh, see our friend in Wimbledon and her name is Lady Wimbledon uh, and um, there was a party in um, a nice bar in Wimbledon and um, we stayed there till, I don't know, about 11 and then we went for a curry um, with all our buddies, you know, about half 11, 12. So it was quite a nice evening. I didn't get home uh, back to Portsmouth till, I don't know, one o'clock. Then again, I was up at, I was up at eight, uh, left my off, left home at sort of nine. I've just literally turned up the office now at half past 10. Um, so all good. Anyway, uh, what I do, um, Let's catch up sort of tomorrow. I'll let you know what's going on today. We're gonna to do we've got a few viewings. We've got we've got quite a lot of deals coming in, in the pipeline. So most importantly now is to close a few of them down. Because it's hard enough getting the bloody phones ringing. Let alone failing when you go to close the deal, you know. So fingers crossed. Anyway, please subscribe to my youtube channel up there that button up there i think <clears throat> or up there uh like and share and uh i'll speak to you tomorrow see ya <laughs>